Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? I'm Fen. I'm Laura. And this is Retro Reviews, a review show where we go through my gaming books one book at a time, along with all of my other gaming stuff, magazines and box sets, to review them and to keep me from rambling, like I am right now, we have Laura with us. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go through a list of questions to keep us on track tonight. So question one, what is tonight's book? Tonight's book is the first edition player's handbook for AD&D. Uh, this is actually a 2012 reprint of the original book uh, that came out in uh, 1978. And the difference is it's got kind of like a faux leather cover and some gold uh, foil on the edge of the pages. Okay. Um this book. this book is actually on loan from Josh Sennett. Uh, <clears throat> I took him back all of his past, all of his other D&D books that I said I would take back to him uh, right before our wedding when we were doing uh, the Tomb of Horrors for my bachelor party. And I tried to leave his house without him giving me any more D&D books. And he handed this to me and told me to, to borrow it until I could do a re retro review with it and then get it back to him. So. So here we are. So here we are. Okay, so what do you like about this book? I like about this book is actually one of the things I like about D&D in general, but basically saving it for this book because uh, this was the first time it was ever done. A lot of role-playing books, you'd get one big, thick book that has everything in it. So you'd have players being able to sit there and have their copy of the rule book, flip the third like, oh yeah, TIE Fighter's got maneuverability of this, oh yeah, Red Dragon's got this many hit points. You know, <clears throat> they could just look up all the rules in their book, but if you're like playing old school D&D, &D, you know, players would only be able to have access to this. The Monster Manual DM uh, guy would be the DM's Thing. You have, we had house rules when I used to play with a group back in the day where, yeah, if you were not the DM, you couldn't touch. You had to hand over if you brought your monster manual or your DM's guide, had to hand those over. You were only allowed to use this in any supplemental book you were using for your character. So, and I love about this, the old school art, black and white ink drawings in this. I just love that old style, and I have not seen that since like mid '90s is when it really stopped being the kind of thing uh, where they stopped or moved, started going with more, doing a lot more uh, full color actual paintings. Mm. They actually hire real there painters to, to do the artwork inside of it. So just that old school black and white ink. Okay. Uh, so what did you not like about this book? It's a really old book. Uh, just as the artwork is very simple and classic, the formatting is very simple and classic. It's, it's aside from the artwork, uh, pages are not very pretty to look at. You just got walls of text. There might be some bold or italics used here and there. You'd be lucky like, to get uh, every, on a table of dice rolls, you'd get like every three numbers would have like a, sh maybe shaded. Hmm. But it's really just the whole thing of like it's hard to it's hard to read hard to read and hard to find stuff on the fly unless you're like putting little page flags on it to be like okay that's where that rule is yeah uh, would you recommend it to other gamers um, yes uh, first edition Dungeons and Dragons it's a great experience to get under your belt just rocking the old the old ways uh, the old school rules. There's uh, reprints of this, old school 
OSR uh, rules, old school rules, mm, okay. books to put together. So, my last question is usually, are you planning to keep this one? It's not yours, so I'll rephrase this. Would you want to keep it if you could? Um, if I could find one of these, or one of the actual first printings, I would like to have one for my personal library collection. Okay, so scour those used bookstores. Definitely. I'm always on the hunt for uh, some more role-playing books. <laughs> Whenever we go to, like, uh, what's the one on Oak Street? Um, the Blue Cypress. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, those are all my questions. And that's all my rambles, so I guess, uh, thanks for watching everybody, uh, what's, what's your favorite old school role playing game, what's your classic no longer in print, uh, put that down in the comments down below and hopefully we either have some videos of that or going to have some videos for that game. Yeah. But, again, thanks for tuning in. Okay, bye everybody. Peace. Thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, air, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.